More than 100,000 households have been told to check that their solar panels are safe. The warning follows an audit of homes in northwest Sydney which found a significant number of solar panels had major defects. Most had been installed under the solar bonus scheme. Bridget Glanville reports. Jeff Parkin had solar panels installed in his home last year. Now he's one of the 120,000 households that are being told to get them checked. I was very happy with the uh, system and the installers that did our work, but perhaps I will consider having it checked. An audit of 650 homes in northwest Sydney found one in five had major defects, mainly incorrect wiring. More than half had minor defects, which included bad signage and cabling. It clearly is a serious warning. Uh, you know, the Premier of the state uh, is alerting 120,000 households uh, to uh, a survey, an audit undertaken of 658 homes that found defects. The industry says don't panic, it will arrange inspections. What that mainly relates to is, is polarised DC um, switches. Um, now, if uh, th these are switches that are used during maintenance, they're not used at all during the operation and they're not something that a customer would ever be, would ever be using. The defects have caused two fires in fuse boxes in New South Wales. It's just another problem to plague the government's solar bonus scheme. The opposition and the Greens say there is no serious warning to people with solar panels and it's not the fault of dodgy installers. They claim that the government is purely trying to mount a case against the industry ahead of Friday's solar summit. This is the latest chapter in Mr O'Farrell's attack on solar energy. This can all be resolved without the sort of crisis that the O'Farrell government's trying to create. The 122 systems with major defects have been shut down. Jeff Parkin hopes his isn't the next. Bridget Glanville, ABC News.